The artwork for the album was one of the most difficult parts throughout the process because um, usually, uh, well, especially uh, on the last two albums we did, Mediator and Machine Messiah, we had the cover very early in the process, which helps a lot, you know, yeah. to write and to have that feeling, you know, we know how it's going to be portrayed. And uh, Mediator had that, you know, dark uh, aspect to it and Mi Machine Messiah is completely different, very colorful and stuff. So uh, for Quadro was a little more difficult, you know, because the concept is really wide. You know, we could use many icons or many ideas. Um, so I talked to a lot of people, you know, including band members, uh, friends, artists, photographers, whatever, people that worked in artwork for different bands and stuff. And um, this very good friend of mine and an amazing photographer, Marcos Hermes, it's a guy that I really I went to his office to try out something, you know, we need to find something, you know, and uh, and talking to him, he didn't understand, like, for <laughs> I had to explain the co the concept for him like three or four times, you know, but uh, do in doing so, it, it helped me a lot really to develop new ideas and new possibilities, you know, and in the end, I found the coin, you know, the coin was really the icon that I was looking for, you know, really to represent uh, this aspect of what we are seeing in Quadra. Um, because Quadra represents all the set of rules, you know, that we grew up with and we are basically victims of, of the cultural baggage that we have, you know, and, um, and you know, all the, 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 the stuff that we learn in school, uh, in family uh, conversations or tradition or movies or sports, everything, you know, you, you are a consequence of those set of, of, uh, of information, you know, and um, and I think money, regardless of the, the culture you come from, it is a part of society somehow, you know. I think this is the first rule that we, we are enslaved by, you know, it's money. I mean, the first judgment you, you do with the people, if he's, millionaire, if he's a millionaire or a bum, you know, and everything in between. And according to your judgment, if he's rich or not, you, 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 you deal with that person, you know. Uh, I don't know, I'm not going to invite a bum to have dinner at my house or something, yeah, you know, that yeah. kind of stuff, you know. So stereotypes, all that kind of stuff, you know. And money, I think, was the, the main, uh, it is the main reason we are enslaved by, you know. And money, it's no matter what quadrant you come from or where exactly. you are, it rules you. You know, whether it's food, you need to survive, shelter, you need to... To die, you need money. You need money to pay for funeral or the cost, it's going on to somebody else, so it's... It's consistently enslaving us, uh, no matter where you are, what race or anything, and we all abide by it, and we never question. And money is an illusion, you know, because you, you, you need at least two people to agree a piece of paper have a certain value, you know, and, uh, and even with that value, you have a 50 euro on your pocket or something, 50 dollars, whatever, and then tomorrow Donald Trump says another stupid thing and then that comes down to 30 dollars or something, but it's the same piece of paper, you know, it's just a concept that people kill and die for it, but it's just an illusion, you know, it doesn't exist. It's something that we agree upon and then we live around it, right. you know. So that's why I think the coin was the main uh, icon who could represent this set of rules, you know, the rule number one, you have to have money to survive. And all the rest, you know, like uh, comes after, you know. Uh, where you come from, if you are Brazilian, if you're white or black, if you're uh, homosexual, if you're hetero, I mean, all the concepts that comes if you're communist or capitalist, whatever, you know, if you root for Cavaliers or Lakers, <laughs> you know, it, de it depends on where you come from and stuff, you know, but the m money was, I think, the main thing and that's why the coin is there. Uh, so I, I draw actually a, a very horrible, <laughs> you know, design, you know, to the, the artist. And Marcos Hermes, this uh, photographer, found this guy, Cristiano Machado, which was the actual artist who created and, and designed the, 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 the coin. Uh, of course, I, I sent like a, a draft, you know, just an idea to have the, 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 the skull, the senator, you know, which represents the set of, of rules and laws, you know, uh, that we, we live by and, um, and all the, 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 the world map in our head, which is like illusionary, imaginary lines, you know, that separates us according to creed, according to color, whatever, you know. So um, all these imaginary ideas that we, we create these concepts and stereotypes, you know, I think uh, I try to, to really to represent there on the coin. And uh, the idea was to actually forge 
a real coin and then make a picture of it. But uh, it was a crazy process, you know, very expensive and stuff. And, and the, actually the artist already did an amazing job already. So we decided to keep that way. Oh,